Welcome to our video. R squared Rocky Mountain Horses presents Huck Finn. Huck is a great example of the Rocky Mountain Horse breed in that he has perfect conformation and a lovely chocolate color with flaxen mane and tail. He is between 14.2 and 14.3 hands high. Strong hooves, good feet, pleasant expression to his face, kind eye, and overall excellent gelding to saddle up and go for any type of ride. Huck does not exhibit any blemishes on his body and he is pretty much perfect. He will give to pressure, lower his head, and we are using a type of rope halter for training and riding. He is very easy to catch, sociable, and does ground tie as you can see here. Here I am trying to mount from the ground bareback on Huck. He is very, very tolerant of me bouncing around and clumsily hopping on him in the winter snow. I'm riding in just the halter here. Um, as I position myself, we will begin gating and riding on a fairly loose rein, no snaffle bridle, no type of bit in his mouth, just the training halter we use. Very gentle maneuvers. Here he will do a few disengagements of the hindquarter. Riding softly off of my leg and rain pressure. I would describe Huck's gates as being really smooth and easy to ride. The way that we help a horse maintain their gait is by putting them on a slight bend. And also, he has a variety of speeds within his gait. Right now, I would say that he is performing a slower saddle rack type of gait. One thing you may notice us doing quite a bit with our gated horses is ride them on a bend and a circle. This really helps facilitate collection in our horses and you can also ride any of our trained gated horses to ride on a straight line. This is just an excellent warm up for both of us as we prepare to move on from these maneuvers and go trail riding. But first, we might need to go somewhere to hit the trails. Here Huck will demonstrate loading into the trailer by driving him in. He will also follow anyone into a trailer and back out easily. Here he follows me out just as easily in this stock type trailer. Let us begin our trail riding excursion by saddling and brushing our horse. He stands excellent at the tie rail and will allow me to touch him all over the place. He's very willing to pick up his feet and does very, very well with all of his ground manners. Dear buddy, let me get that face for you. Gotta look pretty for the ladies. Just kidding, you're a gelding. Let me tell you a little bit more about the chocolate color while I fuss with his mane and tail. He is a single silver dapple jean gelding, which means that he does not carry two copies of the silver dapple jean that happens to cause uh, some problems genetically. There is no incidence of this problem with this particular horse.
Huck has very, very hard, nice feet. He does not have any white except for a small heel spot on his left hind. He has always been very, very willing for trims or picking up his feet. And has never offered to do anything dangerous like bite, kick, rear, or buck. As I prepare to saddle Huck, I'll tell you a little bit more about the tack I am using. I use a 100% wool 5-star saddle pad that is about 3 quarters of an inch thick and a McCall Western Wade saddle that is semi-quarter horse bars. This means that I have this saddle fitted to his frame and I do not necessarily ride or suggest to ride in a gated only saddle, but to fit your horse to the saddle individually. I have a rear cinch he is accustomed to as well as a breast collar not pictured here. He is also experienced with a crupper. Bridling Huck is a cinch. I will ask him to lower his head and use my snaffle bridle on him. He will also ride in a wonder bit, but for all of our training purposes, we ride in a snaffle. And that is single jointed in the mouthpiece, no leverage added. Not just on the trails, but also on the road. Huck will walk out confidently alone, no matter what he encounters, traffic or other, he always appears level-headed. Huck will stop easily at any speed and stand with a loose rein. I would say Huck is gating at his medium speed here and comes to a complete stop to show you his willingness to stop and stand and be quiet. He will back easily and softly in the bridle. On a very windy day, Huck carries the American flag. It being so windy, he was very, very calm and collected during the entire ride. Here we're gating up and down the street with the American flag on our loose rein hand position. And you can hear those equally timed hoof beats. This is an example of Huck gating at a faster, equally timed gait called the saddle rack. And again, he stops calmly and stands up with a loose rein on a windy day. No matter what speed Huck is traveling, he always appears to do it calmly and collected. Here he canters and stops with an aid and stands calmly. Huck even helps start the two-year-olds under saddle. Here he ponies Vega. We also have used Huck to help this young horse yield his hindquarters. Gate obstacles are easy with Huck. He will walk through gates and even side pass along next to them to assist you in closing them.
the movement or the feeling doesn't seem to surprise him at all. We've tried Huck on many other obstacles, such as the tires or other walking over obstacles. Such as jumps, tarps, or this false stream we created with a tarp, some ice, and a garden hose. Huck seems to work around dogs and other animals without a problem. Here Rebel is working around his feet and Huck doesn't seem to care. And here Huck observes a herd of beef cattle. He doesn't seem phased by the cattle shaking their heads and moving along the fence line or any of this unfamiliar farm equipment at a neighbor's house. While we were at the neighbor's house, there was a pile of logs to safely cross. And judging from the height of these logs, he did this very easily. They were large logs, about 12 inches thick, and he did a very good job. Here, Huck rides up and side passes next to the mailbox so we can retrieve our mail. He doesn't shy or spook as the mailbox shakes and opens and I'm taking large white things out of it. He even investigates this obstacle. Next, we will shoot next to Huck and ask him to lay down for our next obstacle. He does this on cue and will willingly lay down and allow me to work with him, rub him all over. He is not forcibly asked to lay down, but asked to lay down on cue. And then I ask him to stand up as if I were a rider who needed to get on in this fashion, and he does so calmly. Huck will drag many different kinds of objects without spooking or bolting. This is a child's sled and he will change speeds as I ask him to do so. We have even pulled our five-year-old son uh, up and down the hillside with Huck. He doesn't mind the children having fun as he works and performs for me. Here we are practicing for a scheduling event where we do a fair amount of terrain and on this particular day, it was icy, making a lot of noise with a skier who would ski up alongside us and um, cause a fair amount of drag. Here is our steep back hill with snowdrifts. Going up and down the hills through snow. This makes it rather difficult, but he did not balk at this. Here's another hill with less of a grade, but still a fair amount of snow. Again, he didn't balk at this. He very willingly went up and down the hills with snow. I don't think this horse had ever seen snow prior to Wisconsin, where we currently live. 
as you can see, Huck is not the type of horse to go against your wishes and do what he wants to do. He's very willing to do anything that I ask him to do. Huck has been tried and tested with every scenario multiple times. Here we are riding double with Huck where he will willingly walk, gait, and canter with an extra rider. One of our last obstacles is called the noisy cougar, or a tarp, and he is very well accustomed to, uh, let's say, your jacket or tarp or other object flapping around, and he just doesn't seem to mind at all. I really tried to test him here by waving the tarp and carrying it on my back as we walk, gated, and stopped did some cantering and just really tried to see if I could get a rise out of him. He didn't flick an ear or buck or act spooked in any way while I was guiding him around with the tarp on my back. Similarly, the rope doesn't seem to cause him any kind of fright. He would prefer that you just get to business and catch that calf instead of waving it around. I'd test him by throwing it in front of it each eye and again making that swishing noise and Moving it all around didn't cause him any sort of fear. If you're just not that good at catching anything in front of you, like myself, I decided to put a rope around his tail. He doesn't seem to mind that kind of stimulus, and he would happy, happily walk around with that rope under his tail or around his haunches, and he didn't care about the pressure where it was, or how fast we were moving, he's pretty content with it. We're going to make an attempt at catching that calf. Maybe make a good time. Here we have Huck's foot caught up in the rope. Um, a purposeful accident here to see how he would tolerate feeling the pressure uh, of a rope back on that hind leg. And he doesn't kick out, he doesn't fight, he just feels that pressure. And then here we are again trying to add to that pressure uh, and catch that hind foot and desensitize a little bit by shaking it around. Here we are mounting from an object. And Huck does so quietly. I want you to watch closely what I'm doing to this bridle. I'm going to take it off for this ride. I 
asking him to back up with my body pressure and again forward without a bridle, mind you. And we will perform gating, stopping to a walk, and cantering all without a bridle. He still performs that even four beat gait in a saddle rack, a slow rack, even without a bridle on his face. Ask him to canter now and pick up the right lead. Slow canter at first as we build the speed into a stop. And again, backing off of body language alone here. This is very fun and it shows the relationship Huck and I have um, very willing to follow me without a lead rope as we're walking back to the camera. He stops here for the next cue. Thank you again for watching and go to thehorsebay.com or our website for more information about Huck or SGF's offensive line.